Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time. We'll get into that later. Today's Carnival Monday. As you can see, I'm not in Trinidad. I am in Germany and I'm going to Cologne Carnival. Today's Rose and Montag. I am very late because to tell you the truth, trains have been cancelled and I'm just like, how am I getting there? You can't drive. The trains are cancelled. I'm taking you guys on a journey. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, why am I made up all in black? I have decided to go as a midnight rubber. I made my hats. It's not only going, going, given midnight rubber, it's given formation. <laughs> so, this is what I'm going as, because I have to wear a costume. That's like one of the number one rules. I am wearing a costume, as far as I'm concerned. Obviously, a jacket has to go for this. I hope it doesn't rain, because the rain is what I can't do with. Anyway, let me get out of this house and try to find my way down there. So, I made it to the train. It's just about midday at this point, and you could just see... How full the trains are this is a train running alongside my train my train is extremely packed and so is this one but I was really happy to see that as we got closer and closer to Cologne everybody was dressed in costume everybody from old to the very young exciting then we got to Cologne train station it was a disaster there are so many people I cannot even express how many people there were and let me tell you with this hat I think this hat helped me to cut through the crowd because you have to basically make way for me. I met up some Trini friends uh, literally just in front of the cathedral in Cologne which if you don't know is directly next to the train station and we started or looked for a place to watch the parade as we had arrived literally just on time for the parade to arrive at our location. These first few floats were basically just giving out candy and a lot of floats just give out candy. A lot of people are really here for the candy. Um, and then we started seeing some actual floats, floats. Then we have the first welcome floats, which means to us clearly that we were in the beginning. This float just says welcome in many different languages. Welcome in! Besides those depictive floats, you also had marching bands. These girls are actually on top of the shoulders of the gentlemen for a lot of the parade and then they dismount. We also had the police with these Sagaboy and Tantan thing ever so often. That was interesting. Of course, entertainment. So I just wanted to kind of give a synopsis of the whole event, how I thought it was for me. 
um, and kind of probably explain some of the things that I saw. So they had firstly the floats that were just throwing candy, they were throwing chocolates, gummy bears, gum, lollipops. All of these things seems very painful, but anyway, you could tell most of the people were there for the sweets. There were 77 of those um, floats. Then you had 25 of the satire floats, which are those that depict a particular story. A lot of these were either political, based on anti-Semitism. Um, the only one that I really didn't know, like what was the meaning of it, was one of the last ones that I showed, which is with the guy with the arrow through him. I have no idea what they meant by that and I tried to google it it was not listed in one of the floats it was one of these surprise floats that appeared on the road on the day so there's literally no write-up about oh, it in it. general they had 11,500 participants um, which to me is crazy and that included all the people marching in the bands you also had some marching bands Unfortunately, my video quality was very bad at that point because it was just really difficult to see, seeing that they were on the ground and there were so many people and I did not get there early enough to get a space. Apparently, you're supposed to get there 8 in the morning, secure your space and stay there for the rest of the day. I, me personally, Raquel, I'm not that person and I would never be that person. So the parade started at 10. This is the parade route. I'll show it on the side. Um, so it started at 10 down um here and then it moved up so we kind of met it near the top um basically and that was around midday as i said we met it so at the first location where we were really far we stayed there for about an hour and a half and then we moved to a second location where we were a bit closer and in between we had some food of course it's a holiday in cologne so food means whatever's on the street which means hot dogs and fries so we had that <laughs> um and even though the parade was happening nearby, you also had a lot of separate parties under tents happening, which was also really interesting. So a lot of people were there to get drunk and they didn't really care about the candy or the actual meaning of the parade. So also what was really important is that they weren't speaking um, German as I know it. They were speaking like an old German. So they were saying things like color, which is Cologne in old German as we know it in nowadays German is Cologne. So they were saying a lot color and the response from the audience is Alaf, which literally means cologne above all. And they were definitely making this sign. We had concerns, but I also didn't find any research as to why they did this. Every time they say Alaf, it was, yeah, but that was the main thing. So you have color, everybody responds Alaf and they do this. <laughs> Um, it was definitely quite an experience. I'm looking forward to the comments um, on this one. Again, I'm not very political, so I do not want to talk about the flutes because I don't want to say anything out of place um, because I'm not into politics that much. I know the bare minimum. So that's all I had for you guys in this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys maybe next week. No, I'll definitely see you guys next week. <laughs> I feel like I'm running down again